Hi, it's the 12th of December 2019. Been some rain, not a bad morning really, but it's a bit very, everywhere is very mucky. Anyway, I'm going to look at the idea of how to get to have clean drinkers uh, for cattle in the slatted shed or any other shed. This is under my um, real true educational, uh, not fake news part, and this is really a kind of a just a, a, an example or a bit of an education or whatever you like to call it. So I want to explain the problem. Uh, any farmer will well know what the problem is. This shed is four bay slatted shed and cattle are here and it's designed so uh, I can feed meal on the inside and then silage on the outside. But here's the drinker, it's one of those fisher drinkers uh, bought from Fraser's in Kingscourt and they're quite a good drinker and have it uh, set in a steel background here. But here is the oldest problem. Uh, dung in the drinkers every other morning and what happens is the cattle you can see here they reverse in here to scratch and they're mad looking for some to scratch and um, next invention I have to make is some way of allowing them to scratch because it's not right not, not to let them scratch but this is this type of shovel I use the type of drainer I use it's a it's um it has that shape I bought that from Paul's Co-op in Cavan and it's um the name of it on it is a uh, uh, I can't see it too well. PK, P PK Plast UK. But anyway, there's the label on the back. I'm not too sure what it is. But they're a good solid drinker or, 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 or shovel. And you can put them in, you see, like this, and then clean out. Clean out. And you can get right down to the bottom. But it's, it's a lot of trouble, a lot of hassle. And one of the troubles I have with it too, if you get someone to look after the place for you, they don't want to be at this crack. They don't want to be doing it. So is there any way of overcoming it? One way often is to drill a hole in the side wall. Oh, it's a lot of work and I don't like it and you have a breeze coming in. And uh, uh, I have designed this shed, as you saw in my earlier video, uh, to avoid a draft. There's no draft at all. You can feel down there there's absolutely no draft. And it's a very good thing to put your hand down and feel, is there a draft in a the shed? There shouldn't be. Eliminate it. But anyway, how do you deal with this? Well, I've come up with a, a solution, and I'm going to show it to you now. So what you need is a shovel, a brush, and you need nine four-inch blocks from your local supplier. These came from Rayleigh Brothers here beside me. Now, the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean here underneath, clean and sweep underneath here, and I'm going to pause the camera while I'm doing that and just hang on there now till I get it done. So I've now brushed and cleaned underneath and I'll give it another run and uh, you see the sort of thing you have. So every farmer knows about this, uh, dung, pure dung uh, in the drinker. And you know, this I'm sure they're cattle uh, uh, thirsty when that's gone on. They won't drink their own excrement and you wouldn't expect them. I couldn't bear uh, having cattle uh, that didn't have a proper drink. So that's what you have. And you get it here on the side of this, on the on everything. It gets on the on the ball cock and it gets everywhere. So anyway, the main thing to tell you there is that um, uh, you just a, a sweep does there with that. An ordinary sweep will do. Um, get your brush, give it a give it a good sweep. Now some people, I'm talking a bit loud here, so I'll be heard. Uh, some people uh, like to. Uh, Put a wee bit of concrete, a wee bit of cement and sand underneath. I don't bother. I've never found much of a problem. Only once in a year, maybe, you might find the block a little bit moved. If you're putting any, any cement and sand on any concrete, just an egg stand full is my, is my, is my uh, uh, recommendation. So I'll pause again now. And uh, you may not be hearing me. I have no microphone, so hopefully it's coming across. So, uh, so far, so good. Two blocks there. You have to try and avoid them being turned over by the cattle's hooves. Okay? So two blocks there is what I'm doing. So now you see it's taking shape. Just go over here. Look at it from here. See it there? See the gate is halfway through. Okay. So I've been paused there for about five minutes. Uh, and you see it here. I just go out here. So there's there. There's the drinker. Uh, there's the gate. Uh, see it there. You get looking down on it. Uh, three, six, nine blocks. 
and it looks like my battery's going to hold. So that's it, folks. You see it there now. See the drinker. See the blocks. Uh, see them this side of the drinker. There's nine blocks. Uh, there. Nine blocks. And they're centered on the drinker. Now I've arranged them that way. You see the way they're there. You could possibly come to a different arrangement maybe with a block here or two blocks here. It doesn't matter. I've only had one of them ever shifted and no, no more, uh, no concrete used at all. So um, that's it now, folks. Just a simple solution. I did this uh, on the 20th of February last year on the other side of the shed and um, I only had one dung, one small dung uh, in the whole time till I let them out in April. It works on the principle that cattle do not have a reverse. They won't voluntarily go in reverse, although long ago tracing in Coxahay, I used to back horses into Coxahay to pull them out home, but cattle don't have a reverse. The other uh, nice thing about this idea is, of course, it costs only about, I think, 650 or 7 euros in Riley Brothers to collect those few blocks. You get them in Fraser, you get them in any shop, anywhere throughout Ireland. Four inch concrete blocks, standard four inch concrete blocks for building houses, not light blocks or breeze blocks or anything else. Ordinary four inch concrete blocks, not six inch, nothing else. Four inches is all you need. And um, just arrange them like that. I don't recommend any mortar, um, other people might say you do. But the nice thing about this is uh, that calves can step up on it. They can actually step up and get into the, into the drinker. It gives them four inches of an advantage, so they can actually drink. And I can tell you it'll work. It works, and it does work. And uh, this might seem a very cheap solution, but I was going to be cutting uh, the barriers, I was going to be doing this, that and the other and uh, the only thing I agree now that it works so well is I'm going to put some idea about scratching, letting them scratch and it's not right to, not to have cattle able to scratch. So, um, so that's the thing. Now, that's my tip for today. It's the 12th of December and I'll be making no videos, more videos today. Uh, I'll give you one more wee look at the slope. How you do it? There it's there. There's the drinker. We look down from the drinker. I can't just rightly see the viewfinder, but there it is, and that's, that, that's the idea, and hopefully this situation will end, this situation of dung and the drinkers will end, and it ended last year, it worked 100%, 100%. Now, what do I want in return? There's always a little forfeit, as they used to say long ago, for these things. Well, I'll tell you what I want. If you use this as a farmer and it works for you and you find it a good idea. I want you to try and show it to other farmers. When you're meeting them somewhere socially or whatever, just show it to them on your, on your phone and let them see uh, this idea. I'd like this to catch on if it works for people and not have cattle uh, without a proper drink. I know farmers will be cleaning and no more of, the, of this and all that. It's a great saving. It's an overall great idea. If it doesn't work, well then um, get someone to send me a message on my on my site but it does work it works for me it works a dream it's cheap it's simple it's efficient it's removable you can take it out you can move the slats there's no problem and I the problem is in a corner I would say if you do the same in a corner just leave them out uh, uh, a block just one block width it's 18 inches go back I have a few production assistants here, <laughs> they're not cooperating, but leave them the length of a block, 18 inches, out from the drinker, if you're putting it round uh, one in a corner. should still work in a corner, should work with any drinker, and I hope it works for you. Uh, yeah, in return, I said, you'll show this round to people, not that I want to show off, I'd like this idea to catch on if it works to be a, to be a, to be a, a, a help to my fellow farmers, help to animal welfare, help to everything and uh, like it if that's the case uh, give it a like and uh, and that that's it i think that's all i have to say i uh, hope that works now this is my own i'm going to be i'll be letting you know probably in due course how this works so we'll see if there's dung today there was none yes there was dung the day before in the drinkers and urine in them as well they can't back up they cannot back up against that because when they hit that their feet their feet gets caught and they will not back up on it, and that has been my experience. So I'm great, great that the battery lasted, and that I got that done, and I have my high vis vest on, <laughs> have my high vis vest on, comply with all regulations, and uh, 
that's basically it. Uh, I think there's nothing else. Uh, I'm just in the, in the process of weighing a few cattle here. And uh, there they are. A few cows there. And the next thing will be the calving. Let them in there and let them have a suck. And weigh them gradually. And then have a few more up there. So that's the setup, folks. And uh, that's, that, that's it all. Uh, thank you very much. Do like, I don't ask you to subscribe now. Subscribe means that if you subscribe, you get notified of every time I make a video. Just do like it for the wee effort I put into it and sharing. And if I had anything to add to it, I'd have gloves. I forgot my gloves when it was coming down. But anyway, not to worry. we would be able to wash the hands. It's clean dirt. And um, so share it. Share it around. Let people see it. I hope it helps people. And I hope I hear people say, their idea worked. So, uh, Save a lot of bother. If it works, save an awful lot of bother. Very simple thing, very positive thing. Helps the calves to get a drink and everything. Give it a go and thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching it. For 11 minutes we've been on that, so that's enough. Bye!